Hello, everyone. Welcome to the News Hub on this Tuesday. I'm Tanya Rivero and for Sarah Murray. Scientists are gravely concerned about the rapid melting of six glaciers in one of the world's largest ice sheets in western Antarctica. Researchers at NASA and the University of California at Irvine reviewed the data collected over decades and are warning if the melting continues, it could have a disastrous effect on sea levels. For more, we're joined now by Drew Schindel, an ozone specialist and climatologist with NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies. Drew, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about the effect the melting of these six glaciers could have. Well, these glaciers help support the whole ice sheet behind it. So while they seem like a small amount of ice, as these drain out to the ocean, the ice behind it becomes freer to move out. And so you could get actually several feet of sea level rise over the long term. And what is the relationship of these six glaciers to the ice sheet itself? Well, Antarctica has a mountain range down the middle, and these six glaciers help support and drain out the, the ice sheet portion that's on the west side of that mountain range. And so will we see the impact of this threat realized in our lifetimes or in our children's lifetimes? Well, we'll see both because sea level rise is already happening. And what we'll see is this component of sea level rise from the melting ice along with expansion of seawater as it warms up. Those will contribute over the next decades during our lifetime. And when you have things like Hurricane Sandy, when you get a big storm, it'll just make the damage that would, not much worse. Over the long term, we'll then start to see really large amounts and even the baseline, just the everyday amount of sea level will be so much higher that it will really, really cause a lot of problems. So we're talking about permanent coastal flooding in certain areas. Which areas are most threatened by that? Well, obviously places like New York City, but especially low-lying areas in the United States, much of southern part of Florida, Louisiana, and then places like Bangladesh, Shanghai, many places around the world are very susceptible. And is there no turning back at this point? I mean, scientists say they were surprised at how quickly the ice is melting. Well, there may not be a turning back from melting of West Antarctica, but there is still control over how much sea level rise we experience, which is really what we care about, mm -hmm. because the biggest portion to date has come from just warmer water expanding. So the more we limit our emissions of carbon dioxide, the less warming there will be and the less overall sea level rise. Will and can we identify the direct causes of all of this? Well, this one is really caused by a multiple multitude of factors, but they all relate to humans dumping chemicals into the atmosphere. Ah. And so it's both the greenhouse gases that cause the warming and ozone depleting substances, which is a problem we've dealt with somewhat. But unfortunately, without dealing with the other one, the greenhouse gases, this was likely to keep continuing and even accelerate. And so what are the recommendations going forward so we can check this melting? Well, really, we might not be able to check the melting, but we can check the overall impact of sea level rise, or at least limit the adverse consequences of that. And the only way to do that, really, is to control our emissions of greenhouse gases. Dr. Drew, Dr. Drew Schindel, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me.